Hi guys, how's it going? It is your boy Brad SK22 and welcome back for another video and another reaction madness. And today we are back with another trailer. I am filming this on Friday the 15th. Yesterday, a trailer dropped of the new Call of Duty game that's coming out and the zombies trailer that got released. I totally forgot the zombie trailer were dropping on the 14th and I only realised when one of the YouTubers that I follow reacted to it. I haven't seen that video yet because I wanted to react to it for you guys to see what the big hype about this new game is for and what the zombie industry has in store for us. Will the game be any good? Only time will tell. But I thought, why not jump in and see what this trailer and the next step for zombies is. And I do have to mention, I have got a brand new channel just for my gaming. And what I'm going to do is separate my gaming and my reacts. So my reacts will be on one channel and my gaming will be on the other. So if you want to go follow my gaming so you're not missing out on them and you really like watching gaming stuff, then the link will be in the description. Go follow, go subscribe and press the like button. There will be a video out there very, very shortly. So keep an eye out and all my gaming stuff will move over there. So go check it out as well. But let's skip that part for now. And let's jump into the new Call of Duty game and zombies. Let's go. So here we have Call of Duty Vanguard, the zombies trailer. Like I said, I've seen a couple of my people, couple of people react to it that I subscribe to on YouTube. But I haven't seen none of it yet. So I'm very excited to see what this brings. This is the first look at the first zombies on Vanguard. If you are very excited for this, smash the like button and subscribe. And if you want me to play this game, comment down below. And when the game comes out, I will get it. And I will do a live stream of the zombies on my gaming channel. If you're looking forward to that, smash the like button, comment down below and subscribe. But let's jump in to this trailer. Let's go. Call of Duty presents Treyarch's back. Treyarch is back. Our partners at Sledgehammer Games have already revealed Call of Duty Vanguard's immersive campaign, an intense multiplayer all set in World War II. Okay. Now, keeping true to our zombies' nature, Treyarch is back. Yes. Another round. <laughs> Studio responsible for bringing zombies to Call of Duty more than a decade ago returns to World War II and Sledgehammer Games as a vanguard, setting the stage for a new zombies experience. Black Ops Cold War offered the team at Treyarch the opportunity to introduce players to the Dark Ether storyline, beginning with the opening of the Dark Ether Gateway at Project End Station. And now, prepare to face a new type of evil, oh. meet new allies, and make new enemies. Prepare for a gameplay experience that gets you to the fun faster, all wrapped in a brand new dimension of zombies. Okay, so brand new storyline, brand new zombies, different maps. Okay, I like how they're switching it up. It's going to be different from Cold War, but some somehow similar. Vanguard, we're introducing a brand new zombies experience in a franchise first crossover that builds on the Dark Ether universe. And today, our team will share more about the story, the lore core gameplay, weapons, and characters that will define the next chapter in the zombie saga. Oh! Let's our appetite for world premiere, the new Zombies gameplay trailer. Let me have it, come on. What have we got in store? Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute, pal. What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, 
What? What on earth is that? Jesus, Trey, that's going all out on this. Hotel Royal. Is that a Billy Eilish song? The song fits perfectly. What on earth is this to start with? What the fuck is that skull, that head doing there? Mind my language, but Jesus Christ. What is that? Is that something you have to collect that helps you out? Is it a challenge? Is it something you get for a perk? I've got no clue. But this? What on earth are they flying across the screen? I've got so many questions. The maps look insane. Wow. Isn't... Nah, there's no way. I have so many questions, it is unreal. He looks fucking OP as hell. Okay. They've got Ring of Fire. Okay. Possess zombies? Possess zombies and an army of zombies. Who the hell is that guy? What? November 5th. Digital pre orders get instant access to the Night Raid Mastercraft and Operator Arthur Kingsley. Death is only the beginning. The team at Treyarch is pulling out all the stops to tell a new, brutal story that expands and explores the unsettling world of the Dark Aether. Okay. It's a story that long... That looks beautiful. The work, if it looks this good while playing it, they've already topped the graphics. If it looks this good. Time players will appreciate, but one that will be easy for new players to pick up and play. In addition to being canon, it's an experience that immerses and innovates on the core Treyarch Zombies gameplay. Okay. This is Daron Fang. Daron Fang. Daron Fang? That is a cool name. The horror begins. With Daron Fung exploring the mystical and the occult. That's the Black Ops 4 map, isn't it? Where you had the dragon? I can't remember what it's called, but I'm sure that is it. It's important to convey an unsettling... I'm sure that is the place. ...and brutal feel to the world. 
Sight lines will be obscured by piles of dead corpses from Soviet and German soldiers. Okay. And it all comes to life, so to speak, in Vanguard's epic World War II setting. With Vanguard Zombies, we really try to bring a new experience for all types of different players, from current players and really to getting new players into the zombies ecosystem, right? Cold War brought Outbreak. And we've yeah. really taken the best mechanics, smashed it together, and created Vanguard Zombies. Adolf. Idio Adolf. <laughs> so they've taken stuff from Cold War and like Outbreak and stuff like that and they put it into this. Okay. Be from this realm. So Duran Funk, the beginning. It's the start of a new <coughs> trip, Dark Ether zombie story. Alright, so they're still going from the Dark Ether story. Okay. The events of Black Ops Cold War brought an end to one storyline. Yeah. The events of Vanguard represents a new arc. Some okay. Some players have witnessed the catastrophic outcome of the science experiments at Project End Station. Yeah. Project End Station was a Nazi particle accelerator that punched a hole through the dimensional veil and gave us access to the Dark Ether, where these five otherworldly artifacts come from, each one linked to a powerful Dark Ether entity. Oh. There is support effect. Court effects? The Deathless? Seraxis, the, the Shadow. That looks sick. Noculus, the Conqueror. Invictor, the Destroyer. In Belakar, the Warlock. Jesus. These Dark entities bind their powers to our human operators through artifacts crafted in the Dark Ether. So you get their power from the skull looking artifacts, okay. Each granting unique abilities like Frost Blast and Ring of Fire. Alright, so that's how you get like the power ups like they did in Cold War. Ring of Fire and stuff like that, now, okay. Anyone who touches them forms a symbiotic bond with a dark ether entity. It's almost like being possessed, except the entities can't control their host. They can right. offer guidance and their powers. Okay. To the dark ether also allows the Nazis to expand their research into dark magic. Enter Oberfuhrer Wolfram von Liss, a ruthless officer in command of an SS battalion called the Varheit. Oh, shit. This was the group that plundered antiquities from around the world. Von Liss forced top experts to help him, explorers, historians, and a demonologist named Gabriel Kraft. Professor Kraft's deep knowledge of the occult ultimately led Von Liss to these artifacts. Von Liss bonds with the most... Is that Egypt? There's no way that they've planned a map, a zombie map, in Egypt. If they have, that's going to be huge. I really hope they have, because that's going to kick everything off. The powerful entity of them all, court defects, the deathless. Right. The former lord of the Dark Ether grants him the ability to raise the dead. So the Deathless makes him raise the dead, okay. And that's why, a year after their worst defeat, Von Liss takes Devar Height back to Stalingrad. And he's going to raise an undead army, march them across Europe, and annihilate the Allied forces. The zombies oh. uh, actually are undead bodies from the past war at the Eastern Front. I have to say, they look sick. March them across Europe, and annihilate the, the detail. Allied forces. The zombies uh, actually are undead bodies from the past. The detail on the zombies, man. Professor Kraft sends out a distress call. That call is answered by Vanguard Special Forces operators. But they end up trapped inside a barrier erected by court effects to seal off Stalingrad. They can't call for reinforcements. But they have Professor Kraft's expert guidance and their own unmatched combat skills. And... Holy shit. So this is... So you've got the Ring of Fire, like Cold War. Um, auto shields, I'm guessing that helps put the shield around you. Um, uh, da -da -da, mass game, but, uh, yeah, so it helps mass the zombies. Frost, I'm guessing that's like ice for five seconds. Energy mine, I don't know what that one does. Four Dark Ether entities willing to bond with them and share their powers. Okay. They do this in the interest of defeating court effects, the deathless. While these entities may be helping humans, players will find out that they have their own agendas. It's an unlikely team up, but it's our only shot at keeping the Third Reich from winning World War II. 
if they plan this, and when the game drops, and they do everything they say they're doing, and Treyarch, I hope you are, this could be the sickest storyline and zombie maps ever. So of the undead. We had a lot of fun designing the different objective environments. Each location has a very distinct look and feel to the play space, so that no two areas will feel similar. As players explore the realm of dark... Holy shite. Ether magic against the backdrop of Stalingrad. They'll encounter shrines, rituals, and sacrifices. With so many different elements in play, it was important to establish unique visuals. And it's a look that feels more grounded. Something you can have nightmares about. You want to give your viewers nightmares? Treyarch. The occult was something they really wanted to touch. It has so many different variables, like summoning portals, blood rituals, hanging skulls, seances. When it comes to zombie types, we run the gamut. We have your basic grunt zombie. And we also have our heavies. These big guys carry around. Oh. And uh, those are the Sturm Kriegers or Storm Warriors. They are really hard to bring down and it's hard to avoid them when they shoot. We also okay. have something called the Boom Shrier. I'm guessing before they even say it, it's like the f red fire zombies in like Cold War, where if they get close contact, they blow up which means boom screamer in German. These are zombies that will run real quick and explode in contact. It's a, yeah. a wide variety of threats and they all start to pile up as you get further in rounds. Oh. Pushing the iron fire was important for us to stay true to our lineage while also building something brand new. You'll find all the classics, right? Pack a punch. Pack a punch. Box, yes. Table. Okay. But there's a lot we're doing different this time too. The root... Booms are something new in Vanguard. Dark Ether rune magic is the thing that the Dark Ether entities use to manifest their powers. That winds up being very important as the story plays out. Right. So they're collectibles. So is it like scrap? We tried really hard to make it accessible for new players. It's super easy to jump in and get started, right? You don't need to know anything about previous zombie experiences to enjoy this. All right. Go into the map with your friends, jump into a portal, do an objective. You're in it. That's you playing, and you're playing successfully. From casual to the hardcore, there's enough for you to dive into. In Vanguard, you get players grind to the action so they can start blasting away. Fighting okay. Is the core. I like how we've still got the max ammo in the background. Of this mode, and it's what all our fans love doing, and we give you plenty of ways to do that. Oof, survival is a choice. Players start the game in the snowy graveyard of Stalingrad, the forward operating base of. No way that's a map from Black Ops 4. Near Shuma? Something like that? Our allied operators in their envelope. Here, the players have access to many of the upgrade machines they will need in the battles ahead. However, players can't get too comfortable here because Stalingrad is still inhabited. The only thing they haven't shown is perks. By roaming zombies. The area is relatively confined, but as you complete objectives, the map opens up. So you complete objectives to get further in the map. Okay. Access to other powerful upgrades like the perk mounts. Perk Fountains. As players complete these various challenges, they will open up the forward operating base to new threats and opportunities. Your Dark Ether enemies grow in power with each new objective, so you'll need all the help you can get. And that means using traditional methods like buying perks and upgrading your weapons at the pack punch but we're also adding a new means of gaining power through the Altar of Covenants. The Order of Covenants. That looks sick. And new system for zombies that randomizes every time you come back from an objective what you can purchase with a nasty sacrificial heart, which can be exchanged at the Altar of Covenants for one of three random upgrades. Choose okay. Like so you can have upgrades, you can get Epic, which is ammo, refill ammo from stock quickly. You've 
got legendary retrieve allies much faster and automatic receive um automatically revive near nearby alibis or you've got rare enemies killed by explosions have a chance to explode and you've got cryo flea, uh, freeze chance to slow a normal enemy when shooting it you've got bloodlust uh, melee attacks do more damage and heal you and then you've got dead accurate accurate so <coughs> successive shot on the same enemy deal more damage okay which reloads not equipped weapons over time or brain rot to turn oh so we can get brain rot okay okay so so we can still get brain rot and still get zonim, z enemies on our side critical kills return a bullet to the clip so you get more ammo Miller attacks do more damage and heal you blood loss yeah we read that one or unholy ground or unholy ground small chance of keeping equipment after using it deal much more damage to slowed or stun enemies Legendary deal much more damage when shooting while stationary and for a short time after you start moving. Okay, and I'm guessing these are like little hearts that you like point wise. For those times when you really need to hold your position. Step one is always what gun do you have? Because those will all play very differently with covenants. I think players are going to find that when they pair up with a different Dark Ether entity, it feels like a completely distinct experience. So you're just combining your guns, your covenants, your equipment, the things you're buying. Armor's still there. You can have freedom to be in a cool place that would never exist in the real world. It's a the map looks sick. Uh, I, I know I'm pausing it way too much, but this is actually getting me really excited for the new zombies. ...region with different inhabitants and in turn, different gameplay on this game. Oh. Vanguard zombies, we're bringing that in space. The world of the dead. Plenty of inspiration around the visual identity of the game. Okay. And to shape the way we think about the map design. If we build zombies in the same engine as Vanguard, we wanted to make this unified with the rest of the game while still have this own identity that is more of a fantasy look. Players will battle across the rooftops of Hotel Royale on a rainy night in Paris. Oh. They'll fight at the base of a massive burning windmill in Merville, which was actually part of the Normandy invasion. And they'll find themselves in the classic swamps of Shinonuma. I thought it was, I said it was something like Neo Shuma. They brought the map back. Which is a truly eerie setting that our longtime fans will be familiar with. Okay, now I'm excited. Dark Ether Magic has allowed the team to really bubble up some interesting new ideas that we have not explored in past zombies experiences. The different objectives you're tasked with really alter how the player experiences the various environments. There's an objective called Blitz, which takes inspiration from that holdout style gameplay of just surviving, but this time you're taking the fight for them. So have we got new challenges as well to gain like points or something? In Harvest, Harvest. you have zombies who drop runestones that you can collect. Players must then deposit these into an obelisk called the Simeon. Simeon. In Transmit, you'll escort a floating zombie head as it seeks weaknesses in the dimensional barrier to the Dark Ether. So you've got to follow the head. So the challenge is Blitz, Harvest, and Transmit. These different challenges and eerie environments with dark settings help the player feel enveloped in Cortifex's grasp. And we can't wait for our fans to experience it. Oh, I'm ready. Experience the fear. I'm actually... Phone ...is a brand new experience that explores the Dark Ether universe in exciting, fresh ways. Right. The launch is really just the tip of the iceberg. Everything post-launch is going to bring new twists, new stories, new characters, brand new gameplay. And it's oh. all part of Vanguard's advanced global progression system featuring player and weapon leveling plus battle pass system integration okay this is a whole new way to experience zombies welcome to call of duty vanguard they're on phone awaits oh
And that is the full-on trailer slash extra for Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. Firstly, I will say that this looks amazing if they run the maps how it looks and the quantity and the graphics and everything are behind it. It's going to look sick. The new challenges. You've got the fountain perks, which they look insane. You've got the new Dark Aether storyline that they're going through. You've got the new uh, objects that you can collect. Ring of Fire, you've got all them coming back as well. I'm just hoping, and I know Treyarch are running the zombies, so I hope that it's more, in a way, more like Cold War than it is Black Ops 4. Because I am getting the feel of Black Ops 4. And even though some stuff on there was okay, Black Ops 4 wasn't the greatest game for zombies. Not many people give up on the Black Ops 4 zombies quite easily because the, the storyline, the characters, they didn't really get connected. So I'm hoping with this one, with Treyarch taking everything on board, I hope there's a storyline. I hope people can get connected. They're wanting new players to come and join and get in, stuck in with the storyline and enjoy it themselves so hopefully if Treyarch have done their job and they have listened to the people they will know but guys let me know what you think of this down below in the comments i will read read every comment if you like this reaction like subscribe press the notification bell because there's more reactions on the way and like i said on the link down below is a link to my gaming channel which I will be doing when this game comes out. There'll be zombies and multiplayers, live streams, videos posting about the game. So if you're looking forward to that, go subscribe to my gaming channel because you won't be disappointed. Also, every game that I will do will be on the gaming channel as well. Just to display it up so if people want to watch React, it's all on here. Gaming will all be on another channel. If you like watching both, go subscribe to both. Why not? But guys, thank you for watching. It has been your boy, Brad SK22. Until the next video, guys, stay safe, stay well, and peace.